Okay, 281. So this question is an interesting question. I mean, it, it's pretty much asking us to to sort of look at um, optimal points and find which, if you like, in order to, our aim is we're trying to, we're trying to maximize maximize uh, maximize contribution. That's the issue here. We're trying to maximize contribution. So um, we're given a series of. I, I hope you've read again as usual. I imagine you've read through it. We're given a, a series, a lot of information, and all we want to try and do is bring that compact quickly we want to put it on in some sort of table and i thought the question was quite fair in that they gave you all the little information as well as actually drawing the chart so many times you might not actually have that um, privilege you should be comfortable as well in drawing the chart but i sort of put it out again here i know you've read this and i'm going to sort of do this as we're going along um, a number of things to highlight first of all you're given i'm sure please again you must have read this you're not list i'm not doing this as though you're hearing it for the first time um, you're told clearly that you have limitations of skilled labor I'm doing it in minutes like them I don't think it would have mattered if you're done yours in hours as long as you do the as long as you plot accordingly but um, um, I'll keep it in minutes just so that it looks exactly because that's how they've given us the information you have these restrictions of skilled labor silk powder and silk amino acids we know that what's unlimited, we know that we have unskilled labor is unlimited in all other ingredients. We also know there is unlimited demand for creams and lotions. Um, there is a limited demand of 2,000. So in, and we, we're told that we get nine pounds for every bottle of cream and um, eight pounds for every lotion. So ultimately, we're trying to maximize this. This is the key issue here. We're trying to maximize contribution. So what does that mean? If you remember contribution, either we sell only cream and therefore we will sell con all contribution will be nine times every bottle of X we sell or which means now we have not C is equal. So the potential, the expanse of this equation is that C is equal to nine X plus as in we only sell cream or we sell no cream and only sell Y, which would be C equal to eight Y or we sell something in the middle, some sort of halfway house or combination. That's kind of the, the key issue here, something of a combination. Right, so that's kind of what we're trying to maximize. Um, we, we want to be clear about that. Now, we also know, we, again, like I say, I restricted by demand. So let me just build these very quickly. I'm sure you can see how they've picked that up. So they tell us that you have a maximum amount of silk powder of 5,000 grams, and you're using 3 grams to make a bottle of cream. So either you use all the 5,000 to make the cream which would be three times x being equal to five thousand or you use all the silk powder to make lotion which would be two times y which is equal to five thousand or somewhere in the middle which would be three x plus two y equal to five thousand right so we make some cream and we make some powder we apply exactly the same principle to the amino acids so we have a total of one thousand six hundred so either we use all of the cream we make all the, uh, if you like, use all the amino acids just to make cream, which would be technically x is equal to 1,600, or we make 0.5 y is equal to 1,600, or somewhere in the middle. You can see where we're going with this. And we apply exactly the same thing to labor. We have here um, labor. We have, um, where are we? Labor, we're told that in terms of skilled labor, we told you need four hours, four minutes, forgive me, to make a bottle of cream. So we I, and we have a maximum of nine thousand six hundred. So either we use all our labor just to make cream, or we use all our labor just to make lotion. And so what I have here is four and five. So four x plus five y is equal to nine thousand six hundred. And those are the core equations I need. The, you're also given the selling price of each bottle, so I've just put that in there as well. So now I kind of have something to work with. But again, like I say, what's quite good is they actually give me the curve. They actually give me the curve. So if I go back here, I, I actually am given um, the, the curve. So And that's my contribution line, I'm told that as well. So the whole aim is to push this out as far as I can. And typically what I'm trying to do is to get to the furthest point the, the most output point because the, at that point that 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 combination of bottles of body lotion and jars of cream will be my will give me the highest contribution given my restraints right and i can see the constraints here are 
um, the 4x plus 5y, which would be silk powder, and the 3x plus 2y, which is amino acids, amino acids. And so that's the, um, the, the, the issue here. Okay, great. So I guess the question here is, I need to now kind of solve for this. So, I mean, I think I, now I can go back to my slides and kind of, so you, you, you know, sort of um, make, let me discard all of this. I'll just delete these as well and start again. Right, so let me just sort of make a new slide there. So I'm just going to play around with some, you know, um, simultaneous equations. I'm sure you sort of know what I'm, I'm doing here. So what am I saying? I'm saying that I'm trying to find what this combination is. Right, so I have here 3x plus 2y is equal to 5,000, and then I also have 4x plus 5y is equal to 9,600. Actually, sorry, forgive me, I think I, I misspoke there in terms of what the risk constraints were. So the constraints are 4x plus 5y and the 3x plus 2y. Let me just go back and see what those are. I mean, it's we have the information um, there. 4x plus 5y, so skilled labor and silk powder, forgive me, are our constraints. Those are the constraints, silk powder and skilled labor. Silk amino acids are not a constraint. If we go back and look at the question, um, silk powder, here is that silk powder. It's not a constraint. We have enough of it. Okay, so um, where are we? Here we are. Let's go back to my slides. So now that I have that I need to find out what that what that portion what that place to go what combination to do is so I'll just change my pen color here so um, using simultaneous equations I'm going to it, it doesn't matter which you go for I'm going to get rid of y's so when I say get rid of y's I'm going to multiply this by 5 this equation by 5 and multiply this equation by 2 multiply the whole thing so in the end I will have here um, 15x plus 10y is equal to 25,000. And here I will have, when I multiply this whole equation by 2, I will have 8x plus 10y is equal to um, 19,200. And the way this works with simultaneous equations, as you remember, we literally subtract one from the other. So just subtract as you see them. 15 minus 8 gives you 7x, 10 minus 10 is 0, so we've gotten rid of y, and 25,000 minus 19,200 is 5,800. And when I divide these two, I realize that x is equal to 828. So it's telling me sell 828 bottles of cream, if you like. Actually, it's 828.57. So now, I found x, I can find y. I can plug y in any of these equations. I'm just going to come back and plug it in. It really doesn't matter what I plug it in. Um, I'll take the first one. It doesn't matter. 3x plus 2y is equal to 5,000. I know what x is. x is 828. So 3 times, times 828.57 plus 2y is equal to 5,000. So 5... Basically, 2y is equal to 5,000 minus 3 times 2 times 828.57, and you find y, and y you should arrive at 1257, roughly. 1257 point something along those lines. So now I know my ultimate values. I should be making 828. Um, roughly 828 bottles, and I'm just going to say 1,257 bottles of, of, of lotion. So now I have my ultimal point, and that's just perfect. So now I have these figures. I can go in, because the question is actually asking you, what contribution should you should you actually do this at? I mean, sorry, what's the, uh, what's the relevant contribution? And the relevant contribution, of course, is C, which is 9x, plus 8y. I, now, I have found the, the, the number of bottles of cream and lotion I should make. So therefore, contribution must be 9 times 828.58 plus 8 times 1,257.14, which is the actual, keep that in your calculator. This question is a bit odd that way. Hopefully, you don't get that often. Um, 
and C therefore becomes 7457.22 plus 10057.12, which gives you 17514, if you like, roughly. So that's your contribution. That's your optimal contribution, given the scarce resource that we have. Yeah, and that's that. So quite a, I think, I think the, the, the practice, the skill is that we always want to sort of get those equations out there. We want to know what the constraints are, write out the equation, um, kind of do what I did where you saw me sort of deal with one, then deal with the other. So when I say deal with one, deal with the other, sort of if you have whatever, like, uh, where are we? So we have something like 9,600. Ask the question, okay, you want me to make, I don't know, whatever, four minutes, I make one unit. So either I use all of that to make, so that's X and that's Y. I make all of it to make X, so that's 4X. Or, I, and so you can put your hand over this, and then so this is five minutes. Or, I, I'll, or I'll do five minutes to make Y. And so, of course, either I make this or I make this, whichever one. And that's how you build your, your, your equations. And that's the first bit. Right, so that's my answer in the first bit. Okay, so let's carry on. Um, the next question says, "Let's go to it." So we've done the first question. It says, "Calculate the optimal." We should make, and we've done that. We've found the total production plan, uh, the total contribution per week for the new production plan. So now it says, "Calculate the shadow pricing." So the sh sorry, the shadow price for silk powder. Okay, great. So this is imp so this is the next bit that's also quite important. I mean, you you I think it's good to do this. This is a standard. You could get this in section A or section B. This idea of shadow pricing. The other word for shadow price is additional contribution, as a result of using or employing an extra unit of a scarce resource. So we will only ever have shadow prices for scarce resources, right? Because the whole idea is if I buy in an extra unit of this scarce resource because I might need to for my client not to disappoint them how much contribution am I going to make if you like or in effect how much would I am I willing to pay to, to get it and we'll see I'll do the example to kind of frame that so let's kind of find out what they're we're saying here what we're fundamentally arguing here is this we have the equation that looks like this we're saying that okay um, what's the scarce resource? They tell us that the scarce resource here is to do with um, silk powder. So we for an extra gram of silk powder. So um, what we have here is in our new equation that looks like this. 3x plus 2y is equal to 5,001. That's all we're, we're saying. We're just increasing this by 1. And labor has stayed the same. 4x plus 5y is equal to 9,600. And so we go ahead and then we kind of, um, um, if you like, find the new equilibrium or find the new the new contribution as a result of this. Um, so let's do the whole thing. So you multiply again this by 5, multiply this by 2, and you come out with 15x plus 10y is equal to 25005. And then we have 8x plus 10y is equal to 19,200. And then we have, of course, this minus this. We have 7x. This is 0. And this is 5,805. And we find the new x. And the new x is 829 pound 28. Right. OK. So keep this. I just uh, let's move into the next slide. And I now just do exactly what I've done before. Substitute that to find the new y. So I know what my x is. And I'm just going to go in here. And I'm just going to pick up one of the equations. So I have 4x plus 5y is equal to 9,600. I'm going to substitute that x in there. So I'm going to have um, 4 times 829.28 plus 5y is equal to 9,600. That gives me 3317 plus 5y is equal to 9,600. That means that 5y is equal to 62. 82.85 and that means that y is equal to 1256.57 fine I now find my new contribution which is of course still 9x plus 8y that's my equation so if I find that I now have 9 times 829.28 plus 8 times 
1256.57. So as a result of buying that additional thing, I can make a bit more. I can make 829, I can make 12687. And I do all this, bang everything out, I get 17516.14. Okay, great. So what is shadow pricing? Let's just go keep this and let's just go. Shadow pricing, in effect, is saying find the difference between the two as a result of addition, this additional um, unit. And so without the extra unit of um, the minor, um, silk powder, my contribution was 17514.34. That was when we just had the first, the first question, basically, question A. Now with this additional unit, my contribution has gone up to 17516.17. So my additional contribution um, from this, if you like, is uh, 7 minus 4 is 3, uh, 11, 8, and this is 1, 1 pound 83. So this is my additional contribution. This is my shadow price, 1 pound 83. Okay, now this is important. So this is let me let me explain what this means in simple simple English, um, so you're really clear as to what is going on. So, what am I saying? Currently, um, you sell um, each, you sell each, um, for example, you sell each unit for ten pound thirty. I think you sell each unit of. I think I, which one was it? Cream. I don't know if it's cream. Or um, let me just check very quickly. Oh, what am I saying? I don't want to go leave my slide. Let me just. I'm just in my textbook. I'm just going to check who you sell for. You sell. It says here the selling price. Um, right now you sell. Um, where are we? It says you sell each. Uh, um, <clears throat> you sell each bottle. Of for, of for say for example body lotion of sixteen pound eighty so you sell each for sixteen pound eighty and um, you sell sixteen pound eighty and currently um, you are where are we yes your cost is right and you have all these costs um, including the cost of if you like whoops sorry including the cost of the um, um, amino acids, which are the ones in, oh sorry, the silk powder. Silk powder is what's scarce, and that's two pound twenty per kilogram. So two pound twenty, um, and you have all the other costs. And currently, your contribution is um, where are we? You currently have additional contribution of one pound eighty three right now. Additional contribution as a result of what we've just done. What we're saying is this: that okay, um, if I this is me assuming I can buy another unit of silk powder at two pound twenty. That's what I'm currently paying. But there's a reason why it's scarce. You probably might have to pay more. So the question is: well, how much more am I willing to pay? Well, every time you buy an additional unit at two pound twenty, you get an additional contribution of one pound eighty three. That's what this is saying, right? So the question here is: well, if I if, if for example, I had to buy it at £2.70, would I buy it? Well, you're like, yeah, because if you buy it £2.70 and you get additional contribution of £1.83, well, you're still getting, if you like, £1.83 less 50, right? Which is £1.33. You're still getting £1.33. I mean, so the question is, I'm, I'm willing, ultimately, to pay up to £2.20 plus £1.83 just to satisfy my client. Once I get to 3, 2 plus 8, 0, once I get to 4 pound and 3. So basically, 4 pound and 3 is the maximum I'm willing to pay for another unit. Because I buy an extra unit, marginal cost, 2 pound 20. In effect, marginal revenue, 4 pound and 3. Because in effect, I'm getting additional contribution of 1 pound 83 as a result of buying in an extra unit. That's what we're saying. So we will always buy in an extra unit as long as marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost. That's the definition of shadow pricing. Um, how much more willing, how much more, how much am I willing to pay on top of the current cost of that unit um, before I stop?
and that's this is the way to to look at it right think of the the cost of buying an extra unit as a marginal cost think of it as a marginal revenue and the difference between them is of course the contribution that contribution is what you just calculated as one pound 83 the marginal cost is two pound 20 and this is currently four pound and three as soon as this question really ultimately is how much more am i willing to pay to buy this marginal cost to buy in this unit because typically you won't get it for £2.20 that's why it's scarce so I'm willing to go all the way up to £4.03 just about right if I'm just trying to satisfy the client any contribution is good contribution is the issue here okay great that's that right and then finally the question asks us to look at slack The question says that what is Slack? So the issue of Slack here is the fact that, well, I mean, let's look at this. We're sort of saying that um, with with the amino acids, we didn't quite use all of them just because of where we are. I mean, look, going back to question A, you made 828 units of X and 1,257 units of Y. In terms of amino acids, it says you have a capacity of 1,600 grams available. So how many have you used as a result of this optimal point, as a result of a lack of sill powder and labor, skilled labor? Well, each of that takes a gram for X, and here we have 0 0.5 grams. So when you add these together, so this is 828 grams plus um, one to you half of this which is 628.5 and together this comes to 1456.5 grams we have 1600 grams available so ultimately there is a difference if you like you have just sitting there in stock or if you like slack that you're not using of 143.5 grams so in order to find this we're really saying that you only ever have slack with things that haven't just been used right you're not buying it anymore you wouldn't pay any extra you have it um, if you like available there so technically the shadow price for amino acids is zero we saw something similar when we did question section b but this is hopefully good practice cool great stuff and that is the end of question um 281